Good morning, Desert Sands Educational Foundation community. This is Sean Webb. I'm the Director of Community Engagement and the Foundation for Desert Sands. And you're watching our 21st episode of Classroom Conversations, where we engage the Desert Sands community. Uh, we've got a special episode today. We've got our co-host, Mary. It's her 80th birthday, actual birthday. We had uh, some fun celebrating over the weekend virtually with her. But uh, before we go on, I want to make sure to read off the mission statements for Desert Sands. Uh, the Desert Sands Educational Foundation secures funding and awards money to provide supplemental resources that enrich and enhance student learning in Desert Sands Unified School District. And we do that by partnering with uh, different schools. Obviously, uh, we partner with Desert Sands Unified School District and we partner with different businesses in the community. Um, today, you'll get to see some of those different partners of ours, as I know some of them want to do a special shout out for a very special lady. So without any more information for me, let's go ahead and bring on Chef Mary. Good morning. How are you doing, Chef Mary? Oh, my gosh. Good morning. Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, actually, for I won't be 80 until like 12, 14. So I oh. still have, I have a little more time to stay in the 70s. But, you know, it, it, they say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I think it's taken a country to raise me with <laughs> all the people that have been on my journey and on the path with me and... Um, uh, I can't be grateful enough or, or thankful that every step of the turn, someone was there okay. to to be there. And so like, that's important to me. So that makes my birthday extra special. So speaking of people along the path and being along our journey, when you and I started working together, we uh, we were looking for partners and people to work with and so forth. And uh, I'll be the first to say that I want to, when we did our open house at La Quinta High School in that new kitchen, only two chefs showed up on that Sunday, and we we're a little bit, we we're a little bit upset about it. But I'll tell you, one of the chefs that showed up has actually showed up today as well, and uh, he wanted to say a special message to you. And coming to us live from Arizona, we have Chef Michael Vaughn. Oh, Michael! Oh, oh! Thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, I I remember you and our and our showdown so well. Eighty years young. Congratulations. I know. How are you, Chef Michael? I'm doing well. I, uh, I picked a good spot. I wanted to give you a little uh, little cactus there. Uh, this cactus here is, I think, uh, 2,008 years old. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's a good girl. Yeah, I, I hope I don't have to live up to that. <laughs> that's, my, that's my favorite cactus. That's a perfect uh, background for me. I love those. The swirl, right? The swirl. The swirl. Uh, so how are things in Arizona? I'm sorry? How are things in Arizona? They're doing very well. Um, so I am uh, here at the Arizona Biltmore Resort. We're looking to uh, be reopening very soon. So helping the team to uh, revamp menus and uh, taking in all the flavors of Arizona. Very similar, similar to your style. Uh, respecting the community, not only just the, the food and the ingredients, but the growers and the people who actually uh, yeah. create those ingredients, harvest those ingredients, and how can we give back to the community? So what a great place to, to join that has the same philosophy and the same approach to, same approach and respect for that matter, um, as you do, as, as you, Sean, and, and just everything that everyone's doing. It's just absolutely uh, fantastic. Yeah. So um, I have the summer off. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> My son is doing some community work throughout the country as well with a lot of the different schools. That was inspired by you, Sean. Uh, so doing different meal deliveries and, and different meal lines, distribution of those kind of things. Learned a lot about the different partnerships in the, the food bank area and how things go from a school to a district. And when those over are distributed back out to the community, whether it be for evacuees in, in say, Louisiana with the hurricanes or California with the, Northern California with the uh, fires, how that all was just a big circle of life. And that both came from you, Sean, and, and uh, the La Quinta School there. And congratulations on your position. I haven't been able to say that live to you. with Facebook. Thank you, I appreciate it. Congratulations on that. But uh, yeah, Chef Mayor. Mary, it's, uh, you've been an inspiring figure and just keep up the great work, both personally and professionally. I follow you on Facebook and it's amazing to see all you're doing. It is, it is fun. If you don't stay on top of everything, you just sort of lose it. Um, 
and I, I enjoy what I do, and I think it's important to give back. I think it's important to volunteer and to be a community member, to be a member, and to respect the partners. I've always respected the chefs that came into the kitchen, and half the time I was so glad you were there because it took the, the load off of me. I think it was something I didn't know how to do. And I go, oh, well, there's one of the chefs over there. They can show them how to do it. <laughs> But thank you for being there with us all those times. And it was important to us, and we we're proud to have you in our kitchen. Hey, it looks uh, like Chef Michael kind of got a little freeze action there. Uh, if he comes active again, I'll go, oh, Chef, are you there? Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, uh, Chef Michael, thank you for seeing us today. I, I, you kind of breaking up there a little bit, but uh, for those of you who don't know. Chef Michael uh, worked with uh, Chef Mary and I exclusively at La Quinta High when we did the first showdowns, and that was a lot of fun. But uh, Chef Michael, thank you for joining us. We greatly appreciate it. Believe it or not, we've got uh, quite a slew of lineup of people that want to wish this young lady a happy birthday. Thank you for joining us from Arizona. See you, Chef. Okay, so Mary, as I shared, we've got a slew of people that want to kind of say hello and just, you know, pop in. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop into someone that you know very well. Hello, Sandy. How you doing? Good. Hi. How are you? I'm hey, excellent. I'm excellent. It's like we got the band back together here. I know. Let's, let's jam. <laughs> Your partner in crime. That's right. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's been, um, it's been just super great and um, you know, it's the whole month of October, so I hope I have enough energy to get through the next, what, 24 days. <laughs> and I've already been into day six, and I'm pretty well wiped out. Um, but it was fun. It was fun spending time with my kids, and um, we were sad that we couldn't invite everybody that we wanted to invite, and everybody couldn't come that wanted to come. Um, and it was we almost canceled it because we thought we're making everybody feel bad. And then the people said no. No, we'll be there. Just make it so it's we can make it happen. So we just had fun decorating the whole backyard and gathering all the pinatas and the blankets, and it was crazy. Where were you at, San Diego? Um, yeah, it's uh, in San Diego at my son's house. Okay. They had they just remodeled their whole backyard, so it was great because everything was pretty far apart from each other. We had different tables every place, and. The bar was in a different place. We had it catered, so you know we weren't personally cooking food, and um, they they did a lot to do some extra steps to keep um, to keep everybody comfortable. Sandy, yeah. you've been events and so forth. I, I saw them. They had these little cups, right? The plastic cups, and they had their appetizers in there, and they had little dishes inside with their salsas and their hummus and all the different sauces, and they're all covered. So it was pretty amazing what they went above and beyond to make sure everybody was more than protected. Yeah, we wow. call them we call them COVID appetizers. <laughs> it's, it's amazing what people are are finding, um, you know, different ways to do things now that we've been in this yeah. pandemic. So, yeah, uh, find a new way to to celebrate your 80th birthday. There we go. There we go. Well, Sandy, we do have quite a lineup here. We got some other people in the waiting room. Uh, is there any uh, last message you'd like to say to Chef Mary before I uh, bring in the next person? No, just that I love you and I can't wait to see you again. Exactly, exactly. And Big Bear, there's extra room, you know that. All you have to do is drive up there. Okay, Welcome well, back. we'll make a plan. All right, okay. Sandy, great Bye, seeing Sandy. you. We'll catch up with you later. Bye-bye. So, Mary, you also got some visitors on social media that are watching us live. Uh, Harriet from Page Middle School says, happy birthday, Mary. Oh, Harriet. Oh, my gosh. Look at okay. that. And we're actually going to go, uh, we're going to go down the page memory lane a little bit. I'm going to invite one of the people that I work with at Page Middle School. You, you may not know have known that, but I worked with her at Page Middle School. And then also she was a school parent of ours at La Quinta. I'm going to bring on Mama Wood. You're, oh muted. You're muted. How are you? Good. How are you? Happy birthday. How exciting. Um, I know. It is, um, it is really cool. I mean, it's like. Everyone says like, what does 80 feel like? And I don't, I don't know what, I don't know the answer. It's the first time, you know, you go, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't feel that way inside. And yet when I look in the mirror, I just go, oh, wait. Um, don't, don't look in the mirror. Just go on how you feel. 
<laughs> I know. And, and how is your son? He's doing good. Busy. He's working at Heirloom. And so having oh, fun wow. with that, yeah, which is fun because I believe they're former La Quinta culinary folk, correct? At Heirloom? Um, yeah, yeah, Heirloom. Heirloom is uh, Chef Andy. Andy, and, yeah. Uh, if you remember, they, they have right on their menu a cork and fork. They probably hire the alumni of La Quinta High Culinary. So yeah. that, that's pretty awesome. I, I want to say that she has a number of kids working for her uh, in all three of her restaurants. And I, I think it was probably a lot of the class classmates too. Probably, um, yeah. yeah we, well, and we enjoy going to all three of their locations. So it's <laughs> yeah. yeah, her, food, her okay. food is so good. There and you know, it's, it's a complex menu. And when the kids first went over there and I thought, oh, they're never going to make it because they have to do like a hundred things at a time. And she just um, whipped them into shape and showed them what to do. And when I would come over there, they just didn't need to skip a beat. So yeah. she's a great instructor, and um, it was it was just great. I mean, and, and and I loved working with your son. It was really fun, and I miss the kids, and I'm glad they're all doing well. I mean, that's so great that they just carried on. Yeah, I'm sure the students miss you too, Chef Mary. You're you hold a special place in their heart and the family's heart. So uh -huh. just thank you. A very happy birthday. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, thank you, Mrs. Wood. We greatly appreciate thank it. I'm, gonna in. And, uh, I'm actually going to bring on somebody, no relation, but we've got Chef Wood coming on next. Mrs. Wood, thank you very much. Happy birthday. Oh, my God, Chef David, how are you? Good. How are you? Happy birthday. Oh, my God. It's, 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 um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Are you up in Big Bear? No, I'm still in the desert. Um, I'm having dinner with a client tonight. Um, am I breaking up or is it you, Sean? You're fine. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to be down here till tomorrow morning and then I'm going home to the mountain. You know, they've closed the resort uh, for the winter for the rest of the season, primarily because of the forest fires. I don't have any campers up anymore. But our last weekend would have been next weekend anyhow. So they decided to cut it short a week early. So mm -hmm. now we're just going into major, you know, phone meetings with sanitation what they're going to have, they're going to manage the winter. Um, so I have the summer off. Oh, great. I mean, great. well, I have, let's see. No, I have the, I don't go back until December, actually. Well, you know, we're, uh, I'm, this is my, this is my classroom right here. This is where I'm sitting right in the middle of the lecture hall because there's no one else, no other kids. But we're going to make some stuff um, uh, and try to, figure out how we can get some ingredients to uh, some of the students so that they can make things at home too. So we're working on some different oh, things absolutely. like that. I wonder if, I wonder if there's any possibility of doing a partnership uh, with, I don't know, one of the, I don't know, you know what, Jeff, you give me some ideas. I'll, I'll definitely run them by you. You give me, you get the, the squirrels running up here for me. But uh, since I got you uh, in this, you know, in this format right now, Jeff Mary and I have been kind of talking about it backstage. I've been telling her about our virtual Blackhawk showdown idea. And uh, since I've got you here, I'll tell you, I've already talked to Chef Andy. Mm -hmm. She's fully on board with all three of her restaurants, and she can't wait to oh, set up meetings and so forth. So uh, I'll be reaching out to you and Mr. Magnera and bring in Chef Andy so we can connect all three of us. Yeah, count me, in, count me in, too. Um, oh, that's we, great. We... Uh, for, the, for my birthday party, you know, of course we couldn't invite everybody we wanted and some people couldn't come and some didn't feel comfortable and um, we all were gonna cancel and everybody said, no, 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 you can't do that. We need to have this party. So we made a COVID appetizers and we put them in plastic containers and there was like olives and pickles and salami and cheese and whatever. And then we cut the lid so we could put the lid on top. And so everybody got their appetizer that way. So no one touched anything. Uh, most everything was already prepackaged. It was a little, it was probably a little tacky, but it worked because they had a little munchie um, that we weren't going to put on the table and share. And that might be a thought. Yeah. Yeah. To do sure. that because we did it, we were able to put them together the day before. And um, I actually looked really cool. We cut a hole in the top and we put a cheese stick in there. And then we were able to put the whole thing in the refrigerator. And then we just pay past them, which was a riot. Going, Would you like an appetizer? <laughs> That's great. That's wonderful. 
So we had, we had the party catered, so we weren't doing any of the cooking. And we found a great caterer in Carlsbad, um, Senior Grubbies. Um, they were great. Um, but we did find a way to make it so that we weren't on top of each other and we weren't touching things or whatever. So the showdown, you, it can be done. Just do some. And I'm really happy to work with you however great. we can. You know, Love it. If, if you need a volunteer for me to come down, it's like I have a place to stay in the desert and I'll be... I think my I think I go to work on a Friday and after that I'm dead for the till December. Okay. <laughs> All right. And I know that kitchen pretty well. Yes, yes, you do. So it looks like we'll be we'll be seeing more of you. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. Chef David, thank you uh for joining us and have a great day with the students. Is there anything yeah. any last message you'd like to say? Just happy birthday. Great yeah. to see you. Oh, thank you. I love this. <laughs> that'll that'll that could go at any minute. Oh. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks, Jeff. We'll see you later. Bye. Oh, geez, Mary, the, the, they just keep on coming in. Uh, we've got another message here. You know, we got a Aurelio Saldivar says, Happy birthday, Chef oh, Mary. Gosh. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. And look at this our, our very uh, good friend, Jan Diaz. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Jan. Uh, that is too great. It's so good to see them. Oh, yeah, that it is. And um, I also have something that I, I have for you, Mary. Um, forgive me now, but I'm going to go ahead and share it. Hold on. Let me get over here. Uh, get it all queued up. I prepared this over the weekend. Uh, we didn't get a chance to see it over the weekend, but I, I want you to see it now, okay? Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> crazy. Oh my God. Oh, my buddy. Ah, oh, Chef Reese. Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd enjoy that. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. I mean, it was funny because I mean, every one of those days I remember I was looking through that and I thought, gosh, my mind is so pretty good. Um, no, I, you know, we've we've had a lot of fun over the years, Chef Mary. We, we've had a lot of fun activities. I was just thinking about it. Let's see here. Just going through those pictures alone, you're there with, we're there with top chefs, you know, yeah. Kat Cora, Brooke Williamson, Gail Gann, uh, and I'm sure I'm missing a couple there. You know, we, we got to hang out and play with them, Chef Artie. We were at the Gerald Ford home. Where we yes, did we were. Yeah, we were. You got into a uh, potential fist knife battle with Tim... <laughs> Tim Bradley, a five Bradley. world champion. You, you've had some fun over the years just working with us at La Quinta High. It has. And I'm going to the uh, train show in Chicago. Yeah. I got to sit in with Curtis. I think it's Curtis Oliver. No. Curtis Stone. Curtis Chef. Stone. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was really cool. I mean, that was that was a that was a really interesting show. And I walked by the booth and I said, how, how do I get to go in there? And he goes, oh, we'll just walk in there and sit down. And then we all started talking, and then I have my cookbook he signed, and then we took pictures, and um, it was 
that was a fun time uh, when all of us got to go. And we brought Tara along too. I remember I bought we bought her pass and she went through the show. That that is by far one of my most favorite um, conferences I've ever gone to. The National Restaurant Association one. Oh yeah, that that was that was huge. I mean, it was like I was amazed um, how big that was, and you know how much information was there. And then we ran into people that we knew, like mm -hmm. uh, the guy from ChefWorks, Jeff. Yeah. Yep. How how can you be in Chicago and you run into somebody from San Diego that you know? Oh, um, and it, it was even um, what was really cool is that um, that was the year after we worked with um, Stephen Lee from yeah. uh, from uh, Master Chef, and then I got to see a couple of the Master Chef guys there, and I brought it up to be a conversation, and they all knew about it. They knew about La Quinta High School because of that. I would talk to Graham Elliott, who was yeah. a, who was a judge. And that, that was just fantastic, you know, because of those connections, they they knew about us. It was it was really, really cool. Yeah, well, I still call, I still follow Artie. Um, uh -huh. She's, I think she moved to the East Coast. Um, and I still follow her. I think she's just an incredible person. Like, even last night I was watching Hollywood, I mean, Halloween Wars. And um, the chef, the pastry chef that came to see us at Palm Desert that was working in the kitchen. Zach? Yep. That's Zach. Yep. Uh, he's like one of their major judges and they, they keep putting everybody in costume and he's just as funny on that show as he was in the kitchen working with, um, I, geez, I remember him during that, uh, the runway of the show that year when the kids worked with him, he put on a pink tutu and ran up and down. Oh yeah. I mean, the guy is absolutely totally crazy. And the lady uh, that, uh, works on the show, she was an original winner, uh, at the same, about the, right before Guy Ferrari. Cause you know, we worked with Guy Ferrari at the first, uh, Pro Star competition the yeah. first year I volunteered up in um, Pomona. Yeah, um, Sherry Tucker told me she got to go grocery shopping with Guy Fury for the competition. I know. Well, I'll, I'll share something with you. It was really, I think it was his first time after winning and you know being awarded that uh, promo that that uh, the promotion sort of a thing. And he was supposed to. Everybody had an hour to do something, and he was going to make his famous sloppy joes. Well, he got goofing off and talking so much that the hour ran off and he didn't have anything done. Okay. And we were all howling laughing because he was supposed to be setting the example on how to you know, be on time and whatever. But he was the same person there with the students. And I think that's what's kind of important to me was they, they were still people with our students. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And they got to meet them and they, you know, so, I mean, for you and I, it's like we can go back and say, oh, I've met so-and-so and I met this person and, I mean, I had fun working on the American Idol for all the years I did with Chef David. Um, and that was that picture with uh, Carrie Underwood there. Yeah, I mean, it was funny because I asked her, uh, we were there. We got them when there was only 12 people because they had to sequester them because by that time they were pretty popular. And for them to go out and eat in public, people just chased them down. And we heard, we heard stories that were just too funny to repeat. Um, but um, she said... Uh, she hadn't won, and we were not really supposed to talk to them. That picture was a no-no. I just, I got that one, darn it. I wanted it. <laughs> um, and I had another one with Jaden Sparks, um, okay. who won years after that. And I said, so what, what, what do you think about winning or whatever? And she says, well, I, I was the last person uh, to try out in Oklahoma, I believe it was, with her mother. Oh, wait, oh, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but we're getting stream bombed by somebody special who wants to say a special okay. hello to you. Okay. Look who we have. We got Mary Linda Evans. Hi, Mary. Oh, oh my gosh, Mayor Evans, how are you? Wonderful. <clears throat> I understand today is a very special day for you. Happy birthday. It is. And probably exactly under three hours, I will officially turn from a seven to an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the 80s are great. My parents are in their 80s. My in-laws are in their 80s. And I'm telling you, you just look fabulous. And so happy that you're on broadcast right now, still staying in touch, and that you look healthy and well. I just want to wish you the best of this year and the years to come. You're an amazing person, and I love you very much. Oh, thank you. And thank you for all you do for our, our city and uh, for being there. And I love the pictures that you post with your hubby. And, I mean, what a great life. And we're glad that you're you're in charge of us. Great. Well, it takes a team. It takes a village. <laughs> it does. It does take a village. But thank All you right, for coming on. Back to work. Thank you so right. much. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Jeez, Mary, just everybody popping in to say hello to you. 
I know it's it's crazy. I mean, like was I remember when she came to the to my my retirement party, mm -hmm. and Steve was telling someone that day, and he goes, "Even the mayor was there." <laughs> And I said, Steve, I said, that's the relationship that we built with everybody, you know, from from people, the students all the way up to our city people and uh, our governing uh, people in the in their in the city that come in to help us and they serve and they're there. And I said, we're all partners and we're really friends. Yeah, that, you know, that's exactly it. Oh, we've got another message here. You know her well from La Quinta. Oh, Samantha. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. She is, will she still at the school this year? She's at the school right now. Yeah, okay. she's at the school. And I'm sure you heard um, her boss retired. Mr. Delgado retired this year. Or maybe I know. I know. I, I think he, he was ready to retire a while ago. He's ready to go home. <laughs> no comment. No comment. No comment. No, I mean, he wanted to be with his family and his children. And um, I think he really missed being with them. Yeah. He was just going to be a great grandpa. Definitely. Most definitely. So let's go ahead and let's get to some of the news here. So tonight we have our school board meeting. Um, big, big, big meeting. They're going to be voting on the start of the school year. Um, not the start of the school year, but uh, hybrid learning and so forth. And so they have some time frames that we shared about last week. But uh, to have small group learning starting up in later in October and then to have our elementary schools to potentially start in November in hybrid learning and with our secondary school starting in January. So that's one of the votes that's up tonight. So that's that's pretty uh, pretty exciting. We've we've got a bunch of comments that have already come in, and I know that uh, the board is definitely going to listen to all that yeah. as they always do. But uh, let's go ahead and check out social media and see what Jan and Mary got posted for us. Let's see here. Oh, uh, Riverside County still doing the uh, essays. They're offering that opportunity for oh, people. Cool. They're, they're offering more opportunities. They're seeing so many people take advantage of it. So they want to make sure that everybody can take advantage of it. So that's pretty awesome that they're doing that. It's not, you know, get your essays done on October 9th, but they're offering to help. So it's a great workshop. Um, you got to love Mr. Fajardo, the principal at Shadow Hills. He uh, is promoting Stomp Out Bullying. Um, and this is actually Stomp Out Bullying Month for uh, and so forth. So we, we retweeted that. That's awesome. Um, this is no school for students on Friday. This is a professional development day. So this is when uh, our principals and our teachers on special assignment and so forth are going to fine tune things and our instructional coaches are going to fine tune things for our teachers so they can, you know, meet virtually and go over some, um, you know, best practices and develop some ideas and ways and how to present things in the future. But uh, no school on Friday so our, our teachers can kind of brush up on those things. So uh, yeah, I'm sure Maddie would like that if she had no school, right? Yes. That's the day that we used to do the luncheon for them too, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's when uh, we would bring in the kids and do the lunches. That's right. Uh, we're, we help promote the FAFSA. That is live now. Uh, speaking of the FAFSA, we're going to have our friends from La Quinta High join us and our counselors on Thursday. Uh, Mr. No is going to join us, and he's going to talk about what's going on with FAFSA then. And Mary, oh, yeah. I yeah, I think he's even bringing an alumni with him who just went through the process. And this young lady is going to talk about how her FAFSA process went. So oh, now good. that we're going to hear from an adult talk about do, 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 we're going to find out and learn from somebody who actually has done it. Oh, that's awesome. That would be good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see here. We also, uh, October 5th was World Teacher Day. Thank you, uh, Mr. Farardo, for sending this out. Uh, I, I wasn't even aware of that. I know about the national days and so forth, but I didn't know about World Teacher Day was October 5th. So that was yesterday. So celebration for the teachers. And oh, and then I was live yesterday. I was promoting um, meal distributions over at Reagan Elementary, which is uh, over in Palm Desert. And let's check out Facebook here, Mary. Let's see if we got anything else different going there. You can see us, we're live. Many comments. We talked about the essays. You know, how it's uh, they help you out with, you know, writing your story and so forth with writing your essays and they have those live online boot camps. It's very important. Um, they were promoting Thursday's uh, classroom conversations. Obviously, the no school. World Teacher Day. We talked about that. And then there's there's our broadcast with myself and Mr. Baldwin. So it's pretty awesome. They have their PTO there every Monday that is fundraising for their PTO. And they have like a grab and go uh, online store. 
so you can purchase things there. It's kind of it's kind of awesome how they do that. And well, is there, is there any feedback on the uh, the drive for all the school supplies? Oh my! So the, yeah, they they did that last Saturday, and uh, actually I'll close out the social media here, Mary. That's all that, that we have there. But uh, they did that last Saturday on the twenty sixth, and uh -huh. uh, Alyssa actually did an article. Uh, geez, she was great. She did an article for the Desert Sun. I want to say she was on KESQ as well as on NBC Palm Springs, where she did interviews. But they filled up two full size Suburbans and a full size truck. Oh, that's awesome. thousands, that is upon, thousands upon thousands of dollars for supplies for the school in Mecca at Sal Martinez. And I, I know that Mrs. Alvarez over there, the principal, I used to work for her when I was in Mecca. I know that she's very appreciative of all those supplies and so forth. They, just amazing what our students are doing. Yeah. You know, I'll share something kind of interesting. I think we talked about this earlier. My two great nephews are in school in, in Rochester and they're both already honor students. Mm -hmm. And Remy is in a class of three people and the instructor. And he told my, he told my sister, he goes, Mimi, he said, this is even better. He says, I'm already an honor student, but now I can excel further because I, there's only the three of us and we have total attention uh, with the, with the instructor. And the same with Ethan. Um, he, I think he said he's got two or three kids in his class. Right. And they're enjoying the fact. Well, first they're enjoying being back in school. He said they like that fact. Um, right. But the fact that they have a lot of one on one. So, you know, there's still more positive things that are coming out of it, you know, one yeah. way or the other, depending on how you look at it. Um, I think Sorry. I think <laughs> Madison goes back to school in two weeks. And okay. I don't know if they're going to arrange it, but. I think she's back. No, my nephew Mason is in school um, on the East Coast in the uh, Boston area. And um, there's only 10 kids in their class and he's going hybrid. Uh, I haven't had a chance to talk to Bella what's going on with hers, but Mason's in uh, elementary school. And uh, like I said, there's only 10 kids in class. He has to wear his mask the whole time where he's in class and so forth. I, apparently, I think when he's at his desk, he's able to take it off. Um, he's able to take it off when they have their snack and then when they have recess. Uh, he's able to take it off and so forth, but um, there, there's set times and so forth. But, you know, he he knows that he has to wear it. So I, I'm glad. It, but as you said, he's just excited to be back in school to, to see students and so forth. But uh, just so you know, I just got a text message from a couple of the, the higher ups. They wanted to wish you a happy 80th birthday. That's the whole Desert Sands cabinet. That's Mr. Bailey and his whole crew. Oh, my God. Uh, Mr. Bailey, uh, Dr. Kelly May Volmer, Dr. Salazar and Mrs. Fisher. Um, they, they wish they could be here and so forth, as well as uh, Mr. Aquino. They wish they could be here to wish you but uh, a happy birthday. But with the board meeting going on tonight, they just a little bit busy right now, Mary. I'm sure you can understand. Exactly. And I and I certainly understand when you have priorities, they have to be priorities. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. I tell them I have a whole month of October, so don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. I know that. So I, I got to schedule, but I'm going to divide them up and conquer. <laughs> I know. We are we are getting upon time here. Um, is there uh, is there anything else you want to know about what's going on with education, or anything else you want to say? This is your day. You know oh my gosh! Well, I'm excited to be a part of the board. Needless to say, um, uh -huh. I think I think the things that we're doing to um, to try to circle around this whole COVID thing, um, you know, has its ups and downs. And I think some of it is working. Some of it needs to be fine tuned. And we're just in a learning curve. It was almost like when I went to the culinary program, I didn't even have a clue what to do or how to start it. And every day it was, let's try this, that work, let's try this. You know, maybe we need to rethink it. I always felt that we just rethink things. It, nothing really fails. You just yeah. look at it again and go at it from a different angle and not just let it fall through the cracks. Because there's always a way to make something um, positive out of something. And... Um, and I thank everyone for on this path with me, this journey. Uh, I mean, I went to school from the first to the first of the twelfth grade with the same people. There was thirty-two kids in our graduating class. There's only like twelve of us left, which is kind of crazy. Um, not necessarily from just being old age, just life mishaps. Mm -hmm. So, um, other than that, it's a good day. It's um, I'm going to have fun and then go home tomorrow. And I don't know. It's been a good. It's just. It's, I'm filled with a lot of the emotions and feelings of happiness and thankful for everything and for your friendship and 
for the school and for them trusting me and their programs. I think that's, I think that's a big thing for me is when they trust you with the program. Um, so, you know, you, we talked about this the other day, Saturday, when there was the two of us on camera with uh, Sherry Tucker. And um, and I I just want to bring it up again. And I, I think of Chef Michael, who was on with us and the other chefs that have interacted with us over the years. The other people that have interacted with us over the years. Mary, you're just a special person that's been more than a mother, more than a best friend, more than anything to me. And I, I see that with everybody else as well. And uh, I, I think about myself. I think about Sherry, Chef Tucker. Um, Miss Tucker and then Chef Michael, th those types of people, we're all in much better spots now since meeting you. And uh, I want to say, Mary, that uh, I get chills thinking about it. I, I'm a better person because of knowing you. And Mary, well, and, happy birthday. And I feel the same way. I feel that, you know, the people that you put in your basket along the way are the people that make life better for you and they make it happy and you're glad to see them. And I mean, I, I like the fact when I see someone, I'm really glad to see them and they're really good friends. Um, and you have to work at that. You have to have a friend. You have to be a friend to have a friend. That's what yeah. I found out. Yeah. And so for you to trust me with the program, that was really big. Um, I was terrified for uh, several weeks. I thought, oh my gosh, like what have I done? Um, and then I realized it was just a learning curve like everybody else. It was just get in there and people like to eat. <laughs> that's right. That's so true. Everybody, you give them food and you give them a, a little bit of some, you know, conversation. That is great. Definitely. I know. I know. But thank you for everything. Thank you for the, the time on your show and for the video on Saturday, bringing my family together. Um, I think that's the first time we've been together ever. Um, so for those of you that don't know, um, we did an adult version of this on Saturday evening where I hosted Chef Mary and Friends. Um, she didn't find out until she got to the camera and saw all of our faces, right, Mary, I'm guessing? I had not a clue. Yeah, yeah. So I coordinated with her uh, daughter-in-law, Dana, and then she gave me your brother's phone number, who I then talked to, and we had a great conversation. Uh, and then got to talk to Carol, and knowing that, you know, I grew up minutes from where she lives, which is yeah. pretty amazing. And then we just got. To, then I got to talk to your friend Mary, and then Teresa, and then Chef David, and it was just fantastic. Every everybody wanted to be there, Mary. Ed. You know, unfortunately, Streamyard only lost ten people. <laughs> we could have had that conversation going on and on and on. And I know you were itching at the bit to get outside to be. With oh, I know. Your friends. I know. Was like, you see the winner there, like, going. Too far. Here, get it here. I know. But no, it was it was pretty awesome to get everybody from you know the East Coast, the middle of the country, as well as the West Coast all to be there for you. It was awesome. It was awesome. So what's on for Thursday? So what's on for Thursday? As I shared, we've got Mr. No, who's going to come on from the counselors over at La Quinta. He's going to talk about what they're doing for the FAFSA. They've got an alumni from La Quinta who's going to talk about their actual experience with the FAFSA. Okay. And then actually, um, I don't know if you've met Mark Monroy. He's one of their PE teachers mm -hmm. there. Uh, he you might have come up. He might have come on your last year, but um, he is one of the class advisors. And um, you got to thank Alyssa. Alyssa is the one that connected us. Alyssa Torres connected us. And they've got a fundraiser coming up. I think it's like a dine out type night coming up that he wants to talk about and what they're going to fundraise for and so forth and how they can help out their class. I think he's a senior class advisor. So we're going to talk about everything going on senior class. Okay. So we're going to have, uh, you know, Thursday's going to be a La Quinta show. Uh, we're going to have some information about La Quinta High. But the beautiful thing about the FAFSA is everybody can listen to that information. That's very, very important yeah. information. And so Mr. No is going to be joining us first. Have they? Uh, is the band at the school back in place or anything? Or um, what's happening with all those music departments? So it's, those are all great questions. So a lot of those types of things hopefully be answered tonight at the board meeting. Okay. Um, the... Uh, one of the things up for proposals is they have a governing body, CIF, the California Interscholastic Federation of Sports, something like that, CIF. You, you know, Coach Reese's group, if you remember him. Yeah. Um, but they uh, they came forward with a plan, an athletic small group is one thing that they're voting on tonight. So they could come back and, you know, the idea is that they're going to start playing football in December. We can't start just playing football in December without any conditioning. So they're going to start doing some conditioning, yeah. now, not football, but for all sports. And there's guidelines, small group instruction of how you can do that. Um, so th th that's part of it as well. Um, the band part has not been decided yet to my knowledge. 
Um, that, that is being something that's being looked at. But I'll tell you, as part of the foundation board, you'll love this. We have about almost $50,000 out in grants where we've written for up to $50,000. Okay. So we can supply our band teachers as well as our music teachers, our choral instructors, even our um, visual, anybody visual performing arts with um, covers to like go over the bell covers to go over the horns or yeah. like the people that work in uh, maybe this industry, like we have uh, programs in media and technology where they have to use a microphone every day that it's gonna go ahead and cover here, disposable covers. So we have grants written out for that. We were successful in getting one already, but uh, we have grants written out for different organizations in the community to help supply our teachers with those types of things because we realize we're gonna need those types of things moving forward. Yeah. So they'll have to get creative on how to feed the football team. <laughs> I knew you were going with this somewhere. Okay. Yeah, that's right. They'll have to get creative with it. Yeah, because uh, think no. about it. Think about loaves of garlic bread and uh, thing that pans of pasta, what they go through, right? Oh, and my God. Well, we went through four, like four, 400 pans yeah. of pasta. And then probably a case of, um, a big case of uh, garlic bread. Yeah. You, you think it about it all? In five minutes. All that family style, buffet style, you wonder what that's going to look like. Think of what Las Vegas is going to look like. What are our casinos going to look like? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I think I think after, you know, playing around with this party, as crazy as it seemed, it was all the, the few people that were there, you start thinking outside the box and you start looking for containers and how can you make it work and how can it be creative? And um, I mean, there's a lot of ways, you know, because we had all those hot boxes there. Yeah. Um, you know that it would be easy enough to even push the hot box out to the field yeah you know, and put to go containers in there that can hold the heat uh pasta holds really really well you know you could do more of a softer bread instead of garlic bread because i think warmed up garlic bread is kind of gross um <laughs> but you could do something you know pretty creative that it would be just a, a container like this with everything in there yep. you know the pre uh, flatware and you know the pre-made drinks and still have them sit you know however they want on the field, like underneath those trees. Yeah, um, when they when they start getting to that point, if they have questions, if you don't mind, I'll help direct them your way and so forth. I know that you definitely have some oh, good yeah. ideas about that. But, yeah, because um, it's a simple process. Yeah, but um, I don't want to end on a bad note, but I do want to mention that a close friend of mine, longtime desert resident and educator, actually, people didn't really know he's an educator. Did you know B.B. Yeah. Engel? I did. I just saw that this morning. Yeah, unfortunately, he passed away of cancer, and uh, I get chills thinking about it. I, I'll tell you real quick before we wrap up here, Mary. I've, I've known BB since 2002, two, three. We opened up a school together where we were their history department. I was the eighth grade history teacher, and he was the seventh grade, and we worked uh, very closely together for a couple of years. And it's kind of funny. They, um, when we were working, uh, this is in between like him doing his parties from owning the bar and being at the bar yeah. and having the parties. But he used to talk about these massive parties he threw all the time. And I honestly didn't get to go to one until like 2007 or eight. And I was like, BB, really? This is what you do? And I'm like, there's 3,000 <laughs> people here at Rancho Las Palmas and everybody's there. And yeah. so I, I knew BB uh, in between party life. And then I got to know him closely through the American Cancer Society. But uh, yeah, just very, very sad. Um, unfortunate. He was, a, he, was a, he was a good guy, a good guy for the desert. And uh, like I said, I know, I've known him a long time. Well, he'll definitely rouse the uh, people upstairs when he yeah. gets up there. Yeah, he'll definitely. He'll probably start hearing some thunder and lightning kind of floating <laughs> around in the next two or three days once he gets his feet up there. <laughs> <laughs> too funny, too funny. Well, Mary, you have a great rest of your birthday. I know I'll catch yeah, up with you later you. sometime. And, if I, and then, then we'll see you on Thursday. I'll see you on Thursday. You have a great day. Say hello to everyone. Thank them for yeah. their birthday wishes. You got Thanks. it. I'll catch you backstage here in a second, okay? Okay, bye. So as I shared, we'll be back with Classroom Conversations tomorrow. Um, we'll be, in, I'm sorry, not tomorrow, but on Thursday at 9 o'clock, where we're going to have the FAFSA information from La Quinta High School, find out of one of their senior class uh, fundraisers, as well as, uh, who knows, it's Chef Mary's birthday month. Who knows what will come visit that day. But uh, thank you for watching Classroom Conversations. Sean Webb, your Director of Community Engagement and the Foundation. Uh, you guys have a great day. We'll see you.